I'm Dr. John Karakoff in Falls Church, Virginia, a suburb of Washington, D.C. In this video, I will show you how floaters move inside the eye, show you some of the pioneering work that I have done for this procedure, then we'll interview a patient and hear about his floater, then I'll show you the laser procedure as seen through this surgical microscope. The video you are seeing now shows a floater moving with every movement of the eye. At times, this floater looks quite like a chicken. Can you imagine looking at this all day, every day? And can you imagine being told to live with it when eye surgeons have two effective ways to treat floaters? One way is a vitrectomy operation. In this operation, three tubes are inserted into the eye and the floaters are sucked out. However, this operation has a high rate of complication. Most patients over 40 develop a cataract that has to be removed. There is also a significant rate of retinal tears or retinal detachment. So, the vitrectomy operation is seldom used for floaters. The other way to treat floaters is by using a laser beam through the pupil. This is my FDA approved YAG laser. Most doctors have access to a YAG laser, but most of these lasers can treat floaters only in the front part of the eye. My laser has special optics that allow it to focus anywhere in the vitreous. Complications from laser treatment are extremely rare. In fact, I've had only two significant complications since I started doing this in 1990, and those were when I was first learning the procedure. Here is an eye on your left with floaters. After laser treatment, the same eye is seen on your right. Here is another case with before treatment on your left, and after on the right. I have done thousands of such patients from every state in the Union and 27 foreign countries. In addition to treating these thousands of patients, I list in my website 17 original contributions I have made to this procedure from my research and device development. I will mention four of the 17 here. First, I wrote the only book in the world on laser treatment of eye floaters. This book contains nearly everything known on this subject. Over 200 eye surgeons have bought this book through my website. Many of these doctors are starting to learn to do this procedure from my book. Second, I designed these two surgical contact lenses that are the most widely used in the world for laser treatment of floaters. Third, I also performed the only formal research study on the success and safety of laser treatment of eye floaters. This study was supervised by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and a hospital institutional review board. There were 200 patients in the study and no complications. And fourth, I did the research and wrote the application to the FDA that resulted in their approval of YAG lasers for this procedure. Here I'm carrying that seven inch thick application to send it to the FDA. Now let's meet a patient and learn of his experience here. How long um, have you had your floater? It's been about uh, five, maybe six weeks. Uh, did it bother you? How did it bother you? Well, it would be like this, it seemed to me like a fly would come into my field of vision and it would just kind of move around. It was very distracting. Uh, did it bother you in reading or driving? Or? It did. And, uh, probably more in reading than anything else. It was very distracting. But also uh, on the computer, I'd be working on the computer, I see this come in. 
and in driving to some extent uh, because the, this little fly-like thing would come in my field of vision, I had to be careful to not follow the little fly as opposed to the road. Well, I know you're a book author and also lecture some. Did it ever affect your concentration? Yes, uh, especially reading. It was hard to, to focus on, on reading and of course reading is an extremely important part of my profession. Well, I uh, examined you yesterday mm -hmm. and there was something a little peculiar about your floater. What did I have to say about your floater? <laughs> You said it looked like a rooster, and you drew a little picture of it, and it did look like a rooster. Well, it looked like a rooster when I got you back to the laser also. Now, we treated it yesterday. What was the treatment like? Oh, it was, it was easy. Uh, first, you uh, put something in the eye to dull the pain, uh, and uh, then uh, some device in, in the eye to... Uh, I guess that was a contact lens, like a surgical contact mm -hmm. lens, yeah. And then just sat in the chair and um, heard you clicking away, and uh, it was it was uh, it was a very easy procedure. I was very surprised how easy it was actually. And you had no pain, no discomfort. None. Okay, that's great. Well, you're back today. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, the the rooster is gone. Uh, my vision is clear. Um, uh, it's uh, it's great. I've, I'm very pleased with it. Well, the nice thing is, it can never come back again. That's a permanent cure. It's not something that's going to ever affect you again. The thing is totally vaporized. It's gone and gone permanently. Wonderful. Well, thank you for talking to okay, us. Okay, well, thank you. Now we'll look at his laser procedure. As you can see, the floater does look rather like a rooster. I am holding a surgical contact lens which I designed onto the patient's eye with my left hand and controlling the aiming beam of the laser with my right hand. The laser beam that treats the floaters is actually invisible. So the manufacturer put in the small white aiming beams so the surgeon would know where the treatment beam is. You can see that I bring the two white aiming beams to a point focus on the floater. When I fire the laser with a foot switch, several things occur on each shot. You see the light flash when the laser fires. You also see that the floater jumps when hit. At the same time, part of the floater is vaporized and you see the gas bubbles from the vaporization going upward. Of course, the patient sees this too, but with one difference. He sees the gas bubbles going downward <laughs> instead of up because everything is seen upside down in the eye. I keep firing the laser until the floater is gone. Most cases take about 20 minutes to vaporize the floater. I have shown here less than two minutes. The next day, we usually add some laser shots. If you have floaters, you can contact me through our website, www.ifloaters.com.